When we're at Baldur's Gate, episode 10, Dark Courage Necromancer. Do we steal the statue? What happens with the druids? Where do we go from there? Remember to like and subscribe. Let my daughter go right now! She's a thief, hell spawn! And you Ooh. will wait for Corga's judgment. Now get back! Oh, let me through, Ragrashev, or I'll rip your damn throat out! <gasps> Give him a chance. You get back. Why? It's forbidden to outsiders. Corga's orders. Corga's orders. I kill all the goblins, though. Keep back. Force my hand, and I'll show you its claws. Oh, mm -hmm. Giona. What? Oh, I understand. Mm -hmm. You. Apparently, Corga wants to see you. Go ahead. Okay, but before I talk to them... Hey. Lives are at stake, and the cowards only care about their bloody rituals. Yep. We could help each other, fight the goblins together. Instead, these fools are trying to chase us away. Okay. We need to get Arabella out now. You heard the guards. They're waiting on Corker to give word. I'd sooner trek through the nine hells than trust that snake. Ugh. I saw the whole thing, y'all. Yeah. Arabella tried to steal their idol. Druids lost their damn minds about it. They need it for their precious ritual. Oh, precious it's all my ritual. fault. I told precious. her I wish the wretched thing would just disappear, or better yet, explode. Now Arabella's being judged by a bunch of druids who hate us. That's not right. That ain't right, man. Right, right. Terrified. Who do they think they are, keeping her away from her folks? Yeah. Like you said, it's your fault. <laughs> I'll Thank talk you. to him because I'm gonna talk to him anyway. Hurry! I'm at the end of my tether as is. Can't take this waiting. What about the bear? What about the bear? Oh, hey, Volo. How's it going, bud? Ah, my good friend. You were at the gates just now, no? When the goblins came? You saw them up close? A few questions, if you please. There's no overstating my interest. There's no overstating my disinterest. I'll make it very quick. Hand to heart. Ah, uh, fine. Glory. Now then. How would you describe that particular batch of goblins? Uh, size, nature, distinguishing qualities? You search your mind, successfully recalling various details of goblin mm. behavior. I'm gonna give an exact description. Goblins were of a rare jam colored hue and wielded magic blowguns. And the dragon they had marching in the rear, was it of the brass or silver variety? Um, I think it was actually a red one, but we'll see. Witness mistook obvious silver dragon for brass. Last question, then you'll be quite free. Did the attackers rally to the absolute when they fell upon the gates Mash. they did didn't they oh, oh curious oh curious indeed i've interrogated one a captive in this very camp she reports they've abandoned their god maglaviet in favor of someone called the absolute the scandal yeah it's not worth the ink and parchment ah, nah. but his superstition all these goblins are informed by a kind of strategy anathema to their kind. I, for one, intend to get to the bottom of it. 
I'm just preparing to head to their camp as we speak, in fact. If you'll excuse me, I ought not to dawdle. Why the dragon? My friend, every story benefits from a dragon. Oh, Until we meet again. That's it. Pardon me, I must prepare to travel. Good day, my friend. Where are you going? To the goblins camped nearby, of course. I've been tracing their doings with great care. Whoever this absolute they're worshipping might be, I'll be the first to write about it. Okay. You say so. That is a fat pig. Here goes nothing. Mm, the rats are just like hanging out watching. Please. I'm sorry. This is madness, Korga. She's just a a what, Wrath? A thief? A poison? A child? A threat? I will imprison the devil. And I will cast out every stranger. No. Viper. You have milked that poison before. A single drop of it could kill that child in a heartbeat. What did she actually do? Girl. You mean parasite. She eats our wow. food, drinks our water, then steals our most holy idol in thanks. Wrath, lock her up. She remains here. Until the rite is complete. And keep still, devil. Teela is restless. Come, Korga. We took back the idol. Surely... Do it. The snake's hiss of approval reveals its intentions. Should the child struggle, it is poised to strike. Mm. The death of a child. A timeless tragedy that never grows old. Try to detect that. Let's do it. What are you thinking, Kaga? What's on your mind? I have no idea. I'm so close. We have a, we have a inspiration. There we go. That'll do it. Helsing is gone. I am first druid now. I will take control and prove my authority. <laughs> Uh -huh. Prove your mercy. Child, take to the others word of my grace. Sif, Sif, Tila, to me. Me! <laughs> it hurts. Thank you, Korga. Master Holson. Halson isn't here. Sure did not like that. Keep his name off your tongue, lest Tila pierce it. So... I'll give it a shot. Light on my feet. Step lightly. Child, one who tried to steal from us. Did no no way I'm pickpocketing Kaga. But I guess I should go talk to Nettie, huh? So she'll 
open the door. Time for the doctor. I see you. Just give me a moment. I will wait patiently. This medicament. There. It's up to her now. Life or death. Now. What was it you needed? I look for hewing. I do what I can. For most folks, that's enough. Come here. Let's have a look at you. You seem happy hey. enough. A bit tired around the eyes, maybe. Yes, very tired. Then get some rest. There's no better magic. Take a nip of whiskey before bed if you need to. Come back to me if that doesn't do it. And? No. Feeling any better? You Come mean. here. Let's have a look at you. You seem healthy enough. A bit tired around the eyes, maybe. A tadpole? A mind flare tadpole? Yeah. It's not like a frog hopped into my it's eye. a serious condition. Come, follow me. I might be able to help. We need to be quick. This way. This one had the same problem as you. Attacked us in the woods together with some goblins. Tadpole crawled out of his head soon after. I didn't think this was common. Rather too common as of late. At least that's what Master Halson suspected. I pity you got me instead of him. He understands these things. Studied them. Still, we have options. You don't have to be here for this. Please, don't mind me. I'll just watch. Yes. All right. Let's see what we can do. What's that Not plan? Much. But first things first. Tell me about your symptoms. Have you noticed anything strange happening? Mm -hmm. I can merge my mind with anyone else victims that's can infected. Identify each other. Yeah. Not that the others know they're victims, of course. How'd you pick up the parasite? Halson was desperate to find where all this was happening. Mind flare ship. A mind flare ship? But Master Halson was sure. Look, you've been straight with me, so I'll be straight with you. You're dangerous. If you transform here, we're all dead. But you seem like a good soul. You deserve a chance to save yourself. This is a vial of wyvern poison. Swear to me. You'll swallow it if you feel any symptoms. All right, all swear right. It. Oh. Okay, I swear. I hope it doesn't come to that, but thank you. Thank Here. you for the very effective poison. You know, I've spent my life treating folk and never once saw a mind flare infection. Then suddenly, there's dozens of you. Maybe more. Master Halson and I were tracking, studying, trying to figure out what the hells was going on. Because you should all be changing. There should be a small army of mind flayers out there. But you're not. Weird powers aside, you seem perfectly normal. You must have learned something. For one, 
That thing in your head is like nothing we've ever seen from Mind Flayers. It's one of their worms for sure. But this one gives you powers, telepathic connections, and it doesn't turn you into one of them. Not yet, anyhow. So... You said you were tracking others? Hard to say, but there's a lot we don't know. Infected, folks like you, have been converging on an old temple of Saluna, and I've no idea why. When Master Halson heard the adventurers were heading that way, he saw a chance to get answers, joined on the spot. Whatever he found there, he didn't make it back. So you want me to go get him? I've sent birds to find him, but the place is rotten with goblins. And if my birds can't get close, what chance do I have? You though, you're one of them. Technically speaking, I mean, they won't kill someone carrying their parasite. If you can find Halson and get him out of there, we can discover what he learned. And perhaps he can save your life. How's that sound? You sure he can cure me? I can't make any promises. This is like nothing we've seen before. But I know this for sure. Master Halson is the only one close to understanding these things. He's your best bet to survive. Otherwise, that vile's your only option. Okay. Thank you. It would mean everything to the Grove. To me. I wish I could tell you what happened out there. But those adventurers were the only witnesses. And they're long gone. All I can say for sure is they all went to the old temple of Saluna. And Master Halson didn't make it back. Good luck out there. And if things start to go bad, remember the vial. Remember your oath. Remember the tooth. Just want my bed. Why? Oh, hell yeah. Never tried it, and I hope to keep it that way. Not a sound. We're just gonna grab that. Do I have anything? He has a letter. Don't kill anyone. Attacks a couple of guys. A couple of drills. Bullywig trumpets. Anything else interesting around here? That's another door. I know where that goes. That You ever scare me like that again, and I'll feed you to a knoll. Mom, I'm fine. Stop it. Our little hellion told us what happened. Thank you. Don't know what we'd do without her. Yeah, this this could have ended badly, you yeah? hear? Keep her in line. The nine hells will sooner freeze over. Yeah. But we'll try. What I get? Dancing like There's no time to waste. I guess I'll give it to Shadow. Hmm. Right. Sure we can use that for now. Um, to go talk to Zevlor. The, the third cow over there says, Moo. Mm. 
Shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. On my way. I heard what happened. Thank you for protecting the child. If the druids are this far gone, then it's not just goblins we have to fear. So we can risk violence here, or face it for certain on the road. Quite the choice, isn't it? Resist! No, the druids are too powerful. We can't stand against them all. It's Korga's influence. Without her twisting things, I believe the druids might see sense. Then we can just get rid of her, right? A low thought. Hmm? But I'd be lying if I said I hadn't considered it. But the druids would slaughter us. We'd have to get close to Korga, within striking distance. I can't manage that. But they've already let you pass once. What's it worth to you? To get these people to Baldur's Gate? Everything. I'm still hoping Korga can be swayed from this madness. But if not, mm. leaders need to make tough decisions. We do what we must. No, sir. But if there's a clear path past those... Better not be cursed. They'll find it. Yes. Of course. Okay. <laughs> used to think the goblins would kill us the second we set foot outside. But after hearing what you did at the gate, well, I still think they'll kill us. But at least we can put up a fight. Try not to kill over well, you. we came through Avernus. We might not look it, but we're tough. Who knows? Some of us might even make it to Baldur's Gate. It's by the hell, right? <laughs> There's optimism, and then there's stupid, hun. Plenty of us fell to monsters already. I don't see the rest of us lasting long out there. But if you're so sure we will, why not put a little gold on the line? Mm. Mm. Oh, I'm sure you're good for it. Just leave the gold on my corpse. After seeing you at the gate, I'm sure you'll last longer than us. You're sure here's Excellent. ten gold. And since I ain't one to leave a debt unpaid, that means we're destined to meet in Border's Gate. Looking forward to it. So many ways to die. What's in your backpack? Pair? I'll take that. Uh, okay, so we could go over that way. Or we can go get this chest over here. Watch your back. Astarian. Oh, it's just open. And here I thought that it was locked. All right, what now? Have to keep going. Over here. Yump. Raised in the city, hot beat it. I'm more used to feeling cobblestones underfoot than grass and fallen leaves. Before I went to Avernus, I'd have agreed with you. Nothing quite like Baldur's Gate, is there? Nothing. Oh, yeah, and then there's these anyway. people. Keep a blade close. Still alive. So that's progress. How many scrolls of feather fall do I have?
My faith will guide me. Don't burn yourself. What now? Shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. Okay. At the ready. Soldier. You better handle this. Look away. Keep moving, stranger. Quietly. What happened? I told, I told you, you to go. go. Try to pass this perception check first. Yeah. You see a name etched into the leather. Scratch. You know my name. Interesting. A predator wouldn't care to learn it. No, no, Still, they wouldn't. You should go. My friend is injured. He needs rest. I don't think he's gonna wake up, man. And then we'll return home. What happened? We were attacked. We're cackling furry things on two legs. And their smell. It was strange, rotten, evil. You know the creatures he describes. Knolls. Mm. No, I won't leave him. If it comes to that, I may. Thank you. Oh, I can just loot his body now, eh? Take the man's boots. That's episode 10. If you made it this far, thank you for watching or hanging out. I think I'm going to leave the series here for now. If you want to see more, let me know in the comments. See you on the next uh, series.